Saubon. Happy Africa Day, we say. Same to you. Uh, so perhaps just starting with uh, what it is that he said in terms of what the task that is awaiting him. Well, obviously, it's a very enormous task he's facing. It's a country that politically is facing a number of challenges. There's socioeconomic problems as well. But he said for now his preoccupation is around COVID-19. Uh, so far, they only have two cases, but you know that uh, Lesotho may have quite a number of problems because of capacity issues, but he says in terms of the two cases that they have, they're trying to control those cases, so they're using quite a number of measures, including the lockdown itself, so it's quite a number of issues uh, that he's facing, so Didu you may just take a listen to him really elaborating. The virus is the number one national priority. It comes, of course, with the responsibility to deal uh, with the disease, to prevent infections. So that's one major task that we must uh, deliver on. Secondly, the prevention methods uh, carry along with uh, negative impacts on the economy. So we have had a lockdown for a while now. That lockdown has imposed uh, yeah, additional uh, costs on the economy. Firms have, uh, have been closed. We are not beginning to go back to work. Of course, uh, social distancing and lockdown have imposed a lot of uh, costs on the industry and economic activity. So the other critical aspect, of course, is people now being out of jobs, uh, we need to ensure that they eat something. So we're dealing with uh, uh, food parcels for now, and uh, we're uh, distributing some food parcels. But we also need to uh, ensure that we have enough food going forward. So Kaya hitting the ground running there. Did he say anything in terms of his predecessor? Especially, so I asked him that question. I said, one of the very key uh, challenges that you're facing is the issue of your predecessor. And we know for the longest time, uh, Mr. Tabani had argued the whole issue of immunity as a prime minister. So in fact, it was one of the preconditions that he had set aside and said, if he ever leaves, at least he should uh, walk away with immunity. So I asked the prime minister, but he said, Thomas Tabani should be given an opportunity to rest gracefully. And uh, of course, it's a very big issue because one of his commitments is that he wants the rule of law to prevail mm. in the city. So he is a man who's facing uh, all sorts of rumors, you know, swelling around about his implication into uh, the murder of his estranged wife. So I asked him that very pertinent question and he gave us uh, the response. If we may take a listen to him once again. Obviously, our priority is that there should be a rule of law because the rule, there being a rule of law, creates a governable country. Without the rule of law, you no government will be able to uh, uh, govern. So that is a priority that we have. But coming to my uh, uh, prime minister, Dari Tabani, and my my predecessor. He's, he's a, uh, an elderly man, uh, aged beyond 80. He has served the public service for uh, many decades. And my wish is that he could now go and rest uh, without uh, uh, any problems. Uh, he should have a restful uh, retirement. And as you remember, we were assisted by the uh, uh, South Africa, uh, the president sent uh, Minister Khatebe as his envoy. A graceful exit uh, that he has been granted. He speaks there, uh, touches on South Africa and the two countries enjoying a, a really good relationship. What is the outlook in terms of the two countries going forward?
So that's one of his priorities in actual fact, where he wants Masera and Pretoria to work together in so many issues. For example, looking at the issue of free movement of people and goods. So looking at uh, the current treaties that the two countries have in terms of trade, but also making sure that uh, these two ties are mutually beneficial between these two countries. So he calls South Africa a very unique neighbor of Lesotho because Lesotho doesn't know any other neighbor except South Africa. So it's totally surrounded by South Africa. And it was quite interesting over weekend, uh, the AU chair and South African President Cyril Ramaphosa issued out a statement where he reaffirmed that the two countries will continue to work together. And we know just in terms of making sure that there's a long-standing stability in Lesotho. South Africa has been a very key partner mm -hmm. in making sure that from time to time, they step in if there are troubles in Maseru. And that is where we leave it. And go see Kaya Likhe Kumalo.